With the magnitude of species wildlife flora and fauna that we have in country, wildlife trade in India is certainly a cause of concern. Extinction events are not something that happened in the past, they're things that are happening now, and they're not things that we can reverse. Today we have a huge problem of human-wildlife conflict. We have uh, terrible challenges with habitat fragmentation. Today on the brink of losing one million species, we better be aware. Wildlife crime is put on par as transnational organized crime. The way wildlife is being trafficked is changing. There's a large amount of illegal wildlife trade that takes place on internet uh, portals, on social media sites. So many species are endangered and how in turn that is going to affect my life. with the magnitude of wildlife trade that is happening and the crime that is happening in the forest areas which are very huge, technology has to be the answer. Starting in 2016, the Department of State announced the Zoo Hackathon as a way of trying to bring people with knowledge of tech in conversation with people with the knowledge of wildlife to try to address this new emerging concern. The response has been wonderful. We've, had a, we've managed to excite a lot of uh, youth, uh, wildlife coders, wildlife enthusiasts who've come forward to participate in this challenge. Zoo Hackathon gave us a big opportunity to use our skills and present them on this level. It's a great opportunity to learn from others and also as in social impact, I really wanted to use our, my skills that I've developed and put them to a use for a social cause. We could able to find uh, the coding mentor. We could find an, uh, technology support from uh, industries like IBM. I have the pride that I'm uh, competing in an uh, international level. It is really important for all of us, especially we being the youngsters, to know about what is happening in our environment, how we are degrading our environment and how we can change to preserve these. What inspires me that 16 teams, a total of almost 70 uh, students and professionals, they are thinking about wildlife. You know, techies, if they are thinking about wildlife today, uh, I feel that wildlife will have some kind of future, some kind of positive outcomes uh, tomorrow. Solutions that are based on artificial intelligence, based on the data that we are able to collate, and maybe then we can forecast what is the sort of crime that is going to happen and predictive policing has to be the answer with the help of technology in the coming future. Lots of interesting ideas and solutions have come forward and the need right now is in fact for professional agencies, IT companies, enforcement agencies now to come forward. Look at these ideas that are being developed by the young mind. Yes, I'm definitely looking my future in coding and this hackathon will definitely be a plus point for my career growth. I feel coding is like my passion. Something I could make which could help humankind, environment, anything. Yes, this will motivate me and I will still continue doing coding. This is going to be a huge game changer. Zoo Hackathon and the ideas that are developing here can help and change the future of curbing wildlife crime in India. We all have valuable talents to contribute to the fight against wildlife trafficking. We need to keep in mind that if we aren't willing to do something, 
who will. Come forward and help us protect our wildlife species. Together possible. Give a hand to wildlife.